It was a picture that went viral in 2009 and sparked an international outcry to save this depressed, rejected dog in a South Central LA shelter. Well, Nico's incredible story of rescue and redemption has been told many times. Even his name means champion of the people. Nico went on to proudly be an ambassador for those causes that he represented. Nico impacted the world in a way that only he could do. Sadly, Nico recently succumbed to the cancer that he'd been battling since his rescue. Nico was 12 and a half years old. Well, Pet Pals TV wanted to pay tribute to Nico, to his life and his legacy. And we know that you, the audience, wanted to pay tribute as well and find out how his family is doing. So we're here with his mom, Bridget Swan. Bridget, first and foremost, everybody wants to know, how are you doing? It's, it's been hard. Uh, I think anyone that loses a pet comes, comes home and that's the hardest part, when they're not there to greet you and kind of your habits or your routines. We used to feed Nico a third time during the day because he had lost weight at one point. So we incorporated that a couple years ago. Yeah. And so at 9.30 every night, I'm reminded that, you know, you can't feed him or take him out. The night he passed away, I wrote a little obituary on his um, fan page and um, friend page on Facebook. Yeah. And it really just um, blew up. The feedback that we've gotten has been amazing. Just people telling us how he's impacted their lives. And um, I already, I had, when he was alive, I already knew of um, two rescues that because of his initial picture, they started the rescue. And that was Nico's legacy and needs to continue on that, you know, rescue dogs need homes um, and they can be rehabilitated no matter where they've come from. Because Nico was so publicly admired and adored, he went to several animal rescue events with his mom and was treated like royalty wherever he went. He was, after all, the Nico who inspired a movement. But his favorite time was with his family, out for his beloved walks or snuggling on the couch. And as an added bonus, Nico had a new little sister added to his pack this year as well. So when um, I was pregnant, Eric and I had really talked a lot about wanting to, we really hoped that she would get to meet Nico. Because um, Nico has obviously been struggling with cancer for at least the last four, well, before I even had him, he had cancer. And then he seemed to, it had died down a bit. And then the last four years, you know, he's, it's flared up again and we've just managed. He would, you know, lay on the couch. He had his own chaise section of the couch and, and she would reach over and just massage him and stuff like that and pet him. Um, she wanted to grab his jaw a little bit, but you know, or his ears, but we, we kind of kept her away from that. And so if I'd go in her room, he would lay on the floor and he'd have to be right there um, wherever she was or, or myself. Overall, Nico was simply blessed to just be Nico in the second act of his life. Well, for me personally, when I got him, I thought he lived six years in a bad situation. Um, I want him to live longer in a good situation. And he lived six and a half years with us. Um, I think he was really content and happy and he loved to sleep and <laughs> snore. I think he couldn't hear it, but I think the vibration felt good to him because he would do it when he was awake too. Um, but I think that he was just a really happy, content dog that um, was just happy being here and he would literally follow me from room to room. It didn't matter who else was here. He was always with me. He was my guy. But I, I do have to say the last thing he did when he passed was snore. <laughs> so he, he went out he went out being Nico for oh. sure. Nico's memory will live on with his family and his legacy with his fans from all over the world. Gifts of remembrance are being sent, as well as donations, to help keep Nico's mission alive. A legacy to support for a life well lived. For Nico, until we meet again, dear friend, at the bridge.